I'm glad you brought up Russell G because I'm sick and tired of the disrespect that this good brother gets. Now, don't get me wrong. I've never met Russell in person. I don't know him personally, but based off of my observations of Russell, he seems like a pretty good stand-up guy. I'm tired of people making fun of Russell being a stepdad. I, I got stepdads in my clique. Then on top of that, I've been wanting to ask a lot of you whole ass niggas this, and I'm, and, and, and I'm going to try to watch my cursing because that helps us during our editing process. I want to say this, Jared. If any one of these idiots had a baby and your child's stepdad was Russell Wilson, your child is in a financially well-off environment. Your child is in a God-fearing household because, you know, Russell talks about God a lot. Not only that, your child is in a consistent and stable environment. Not only that, if your son or daughter, and I know I'm pretty long-winded, Jim, I'm going to pass it off to you. <laughs> if, your, if your son's dad, stepdad was Russell and your son ends up going to the NFL, did you do that or did Russell? Was Russell out there throwing with your son? I'm tired of you idiots. I mean, okay, but let's just say first and foremost, G. Yeah. Russell Wilson, my oh nigga. Oh, my I, God. I the whole time. Russell Wilson, okay, team future around his hoe. You feel me? But why But high. why is it Russell, Jared? Because he's a lame-ass nigga, bro. What That's makes what him like, lame? He's just lame as, bro, and, and I don't trust his Is nigga. it his dialect? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ain't kicking it with this nigga. Who you want to kick it with? It depends on what age I am. Damn, Miami, who you kicking it with right now? That's what I thought, nigga. We're going to be kicking it with Future, and you know this. Now, nigga. I didn't say that I don't like Future. We were just talking about his album. Bro, go hard than a bitch. Now, my nigga trying to backtrack. Now, nah, you want Russell. Let's, you want to team up Russell. You can go to Miami. Y'all can eat on some crumpets and sip some tea or something, nigga. Me and Future at the booty club, nigga. We in that motherfucker. Throwing wands. So you guys are going to be wasting money in the strip club? Fuck it. My money. I'm going to be honest. I don't mind kicking it with Future, and I don't mind kicking it with Russell. They, they both seem like pretty good stand-up guys. But I bet you, look, as much as y'all call Russell corny, I bet, you, corny. I, bet you, I bet you Future don't think that about Russell. Yeah, you do. He might think that he corny, but he still appreciates Russell. No, he don't. Yeah, you do, because... Guess what? When you on the that road, nigga literally came out with a song and say, "What I got it out the, I got it out the field for Russell." Literally, nigga, Russell is what he said. So your child's stepdad that your son sees every day—that's I mean, foolish. I mean, technically, if, if that's that that that's a little bit that's a little bit more controversial, a little bit of trauma. So we'll we'll switch it up a little bit. So okay. G, so I often do, would you say uh, a woman should pay for a date, G? Huh, Cause I've been okay. seeing a lot of a lot of women may have a lot of thoughts on this. This shit is always circulating on Twitter, and on and on Instagram. Are and they are, are they like in a committed relationship, or this is just regular dating? I would say uh, regular dating. Well, first of all, a woman. Because if you're in a committed relationship, I feel like that's different. So I just say regular dating. Regular dating. It all depends on where you go. Because I mean, if, if we're say say it's a man and a woman, and we go out to eat, and I pay, cool. But say we want to do something afterwards like bowling, maybe she can pay. You know, because I know a lot of y'all claim y'all got so much money, right? So you can pay for one lane, right? And some $3 shoes. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. If we're in a committed relationship, obviously I'm going to pay majority of the time. Yeah. But I feel like a, a woman would put up her money a little bit more if she likes you or loves you. I but know. I don't know. G, what you think? Uh, yeah, but 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 if they're just dating, yeah, a lot of these women ain't finna pay for shit. First of all, these women in Atlanta ain't paying for shit. Apparently, oh god, they, they rent pay. But um, uh, but yeah, but now I I think so. I always had a rule of thumb, so I say the first three is on me, right? Um, uh, it, it can be anything because I'm not going to work where I don't have money. So if, if we True. say we're going on a date to Disney, I'm gonna have the money to pay for us for Disney. Yeah. Uh, even though that, that's a wild ass day. But anyway, um, so I say the first three on me. Anything after that just depends on who bring it up. Right. Um, so I feel like if, whoever invites should pay. If the woman is trying to steady go out, at least dig in your purse. Nine out of ten, I'm gonna stop you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And be like, I got it. But at least try I don't to know about nine out of ten. At least, boy, you still got that one time. I might just let you pay for it. So and, man, and, and I ain't least, gonna feel no time. I'm be, at least off. I'm be looking this way. At least offer, you know what I'm saying? I'm be like, nah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I'm men not look for effort. 
yeah, I'm not going. At least I know you're crazy and you're not like using me. That, that's what it turns into. Like, right. Damn, is she using me? Because exactly. we know that's what that's what y'all be on out here. Y'all be using people for days. We hear all the time. I'm gonna use this man. I'm for the. I'm hungry. Which man should I text to go get some go get some food? That's what right. they be on, bro. So it's like, no. They got certain guys say then they phone is lunch. Lunch, breakfast, brunch, dinner, and then they get knocked up by somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just this. We may really be playing the game, bro. No, nah, they, they, they do. I want to talk about men, bro. But yeah, I say you get three. You get three from me, and then and then after that, it just depends on on who actually bring it up. Right. You know what I'm saying because we already know. Same way I was just talking about that lunch, that brunch, all that type of shit. All yeah. the women always got options. Right. They always got options. It's yeah. always a backup somewhere. So it's always a backup plan. And, and it's crazy because two years ago, I had a, a, a YouTube thing that I did about how women have backup options. They said 50% of women. I'm hearing new studies are coming out that says that 70% of women in committed relationships have backup options. Ladies, is this true? Uh, I mean, I think because like, that means you're cheating emotionally already. If you know who is going to replace me, not really. I feel like, bro. Listen, I feel like I feel, you, you ain't got no no guarantee backup option. I'm, I'm not saying that you can't pull no other chicks out here, but you 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 got to be G. That's got, that's why I was saying. Like, I feel like you got to be talking to somebody to have an option, a backup option. No, because I feel like you ain't gotta have you ain't gotta. Typically talk to somebody, but you can have people in mind that you feel like, oh, okay, I know, like, if if we were together, yeah, so, like this person possibly <laughs> would be interested in dating. You see that's, what I'm saying? That's the first. Like that's an option. That's the first level of cheating right there. Because <laughs> you're cheating, you're cheating no, mentally. No, you're not. I feel like because you just know, you you know, like you saw the out there. You know what I'm saying? Like us guys know we saw the out there, bro. Right. You know the ugly ones know they ain't got no options. The, right. Uh, it, whether you married or whatever the case may be, you know, like if you have options and people. If people flirting with you, you can go to the gas station or whatever case with the gym, wherever right. you at, like you know, like, oh, okay, like if circumstances were different, I could potentially get this number. You know no, what I'm saying? Right. So like I feel like you know like the shit is there. Like and the same for women. Women know like it's not hard for women anyway. They control a lot of shit. Yeah, so. I mean they control sex. They have uh they got the the the, the gazooms. <laughs> they have um I pay them make it bigger. I don't pay for no reductions. Yeah, we'll pay to make them bigger. We ain't paying for no reductions because once you try to reduce, you're taking away from my fund. And that means that that's selfish on you. God part. damn it, baby. I'm okay. I don't need them big ass titties. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? Give me some. I don't care if they small or not. I, that's not, that's the least of my worries. I mean, that's a whole nother topic. Because <laughs> what's the most, what's the most important <laughs> body feature for you, G? The most important body feature for me is your brain. I want to know how you are mentally and intellectually. That the okay. brain. Well, okay, you talking about outer? I won't keep it like this. Let's say if I was, if <laughs> let's say I was twenty three years old. Okay. The, Imagine bro being twenty three, and, so and I, I, I knew bro when he was twenty. So he said the brain. Shorty can be remedial if that if she walking around looking like Cardi B. Ooh. I might knock her ass. Off. I don't give a fuck. She be remedial now. I don't give a fuck about a brain. You ain't knocking Cardi B. Cardi is bad. Nikki is bad. Nikki, let's say Nikki Minaj, but she remedial. G, you twenty three. You see her in the club. She walk out. You know what I'm saying? You, okay, can she at least ho hold a conversation? Yeah, but she kind of, but she she not all she not all the way up there in the brain. So you know. She take medicine. She take pills. How about oh that? no 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 no! <laughs> if you take pills, I. <laughs> if you if you take pills, I don't know about you, bitch. You might stab. I ain't trying to wipe you up, goddamn. Throw the brunch shit out there all the time. Hey, they they talk about Jordan all the time. <laughs> they do talk about Jordan all the time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I wanted to get your uh. What's up? I wanted to get probe your mind, probe pick your brand on this. So, okay, G, I'm ready. So, how would you feel, G? Uh huh. About protecting random women? Like, would you protect a random woman? You know, this is a hard topic because a random woman could be a foolish woman. Yeah. Now, it, it depends on the situation. For instance, like, um, let's just say that it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I'm coming home from Whataburger, mm -hmm. and I see a man and a woman arguing, but they seem like they had an intimate relationship. Okay. I'm not hopping in on that. You know, if you had sex with him, you're going to have to deal with it. If he abuses you, I'm sorry. Call the cops. But 
let's just say I'm taking public transportation one day and I see some random guy picking out an older lady on a train, I'm gonna step up for her. Yeah. You know, so I won't just disregard because a man does need to step up. But let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, Superman don't exist. And then and Superman get in real life, G. That's it's it's that's hard, bro. It's hard to to say because like in today's time it just be so much going on, bro. It so is. Like, you could come around and genuinely try to protect the woman. Right. And shit, buddy might be you and she might help. Help take off with them, or something. and 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 that's the thing. It's like we have women in our lives that actually love us. We got yeah. aging mothers. You got a wife. I don't have a wife. I haven't been in love in years. So, ladies, get at me, all right? But I will say this: I do have a mom. I do have a sister. I do have a niece. I do have lady friends, and their protection is our priority. Yeah. I would want because when I answer this question, I'm speaking from a from from a man perspective. We, we you know, you got a wife. Yeah. It, 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 if somebody was messing around with wifey we will want a random guy to enter to intervene you know what i'm saying but at the same time ladies you have to be in a safe environment don't be arguing with random men late at night you know what i'm saying and things like that yeah i think that that i mean that do, does play his role like ladies y'all gotta learn to pick y'all battles too yeah you know but at the same time like some shit is just unavoidable it is um but you know i personally won't just throw myself out there just because shit, I got a family I'm trying to get home to. Too. Exactly. So you can call me pussy, call me everything you want to call me. That's completely fine. But at the same time, like, if it is an elderly person, then uh, yeah, I am more inclined to help. Right, right, person. right. But if I just see some young girl and she just get picked on, uh, I guess it depends on my mood. It depends on your mood. It depends. Ninety percent of me is just gonna mind my business. This I'm, is this I'm is true, and you have every right to mind your business because it's all about self preservation. Like yeah. Bro said, he's trying to make it home to his family. I'm trying to make it home to my family. And ladies and gentlemen, we all know there is a level of selfishness within self preservation. Yeah. It now, is I'm, what I it is. Call the cops for you, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. Now, if I got some people with me, then yeah, we, we all gonna go, roll we up. Go over there and press that nigga. We all gonna roll up because if you got more people with you, we in the great state of Texas. It's a strong possibility that you got some guys with you that got some guns. Yeah. So that's another thing. Just like bro said, we want to make it back home to our family, so we might not be able to fight every battle. But like we say, it, it's situational. If I know you're with this guy, you've been sexually active with this guy, you're intimate with this guy. Like bro said. This man can me and then this bitch gonna turn around and bail him out of jail. Now my loved ones can't ever see me again. Why the hell would I step up for that? At the time, bro. It's like he kill he keep she stab you up or whatever the case may be, and she she gonna get the car and they take off together. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like bro, like And and now a, a innocent man that don't even know you, I don't have a baby by you, I'm not in love with you, I really don't owe you no protection. I'm just gonna try to protect you because you know they say that's what men's supposed to do. It's like I said, it's...